Hello world and a very Merry Christmas to you. Stick Severinsen coming to you, not live, even though of course I'm filming live. I'm the founder of uh, Breathology and uh, just your friend, uh, neighbor, uh, maybe family member uh, and um, maybe a loyal customer, maybe you've just found Breathology. And I just want to thank you for an incredible 2019. It's been tough, it's been hard. Uh, we've all gone through hardship, we've lost loved ones uh, that have passed on to the next life. And um, now I'm at the end of a long journey. I've been to Asia, Tibet, Bhutan, um, Nepal, India, Malaysia, um, Indonesia, and uh, yeah, Dubai, I'm now in, uh, I've been in Mexico now. And I want to thank you for following Breathology. I just kind of wanted to wrap uh, up the year because uh, I'm going to Denmark and I've just been swimming, free diving, uh, snorkeling, whatever you want to call it. And I feel absolutely uh, revitalized. And as a child again, I've been swimming around this little island down here, just looking at the fishes. And it's very funny because there was a little puffer fish, actually quite big, um, like the size of half my arm. And uh, this puffer fish was just swimming along. It was black with white spots. And I dove down to see it and see it against the sunlight, all this shimmering light just coming down. He absolutely didn't care about my presence. He just kept going. Then I swam down again and I touched him a little bit on the nose and he kind of looked and 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 uh, continued. So I wish, I wish for you that 2020 can be that year where you just happily go along. Things come in front of you, under you, around you, and you kind of look and, and just don't care, you know? So I think it's a time for self-caring for caring more about nature, uh, for caring more about each other. Uh, we have all the social media and contact and we can reach each other, but you know what really matters most is that you care for yourself and then you care for others. Um, I'm a biologist by trade, marine biologist, then I have a PhD in medicine, meaning I've done a doctor degree in medicine. So I am very interested and curious about the human body, um, but I always don't take care of myself the best way I should. I don't train enough not meaning going to the gym, I mean I don't train consistently enough and I don't take enough care of myself in the sense that I don't take enough break. So if you can relate to that, maybe make 2020 a year where you decide to dedicate more time to yourself, not being selfish at all actually on the contrary, but taking better care of yourself. Breathing better, maybe you want to get more interested in this breath journey. I just saw on Instagram before I came down, he had a lovely talk with a young uh, lady who's with us here in uh, Mexico. She's 25 years old, she's a journalist, and she said she hates the phone. It, it gives you the ability to contact people and do work, but it, 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 uh, it's, a, it's a distraction for communication and for being together, and it's true. And uh, I'm nearly 50 years old, uh, and uh, we are not taught really how to separate our private life and our business and all this from the, from the social media and from this touch of a button and instant gratification and instant contact and instant response. So, for example, on my journey in India, which was a mastermind class, it was very interesting going on a journey of light, starting in New Delhi, Diwali. So the festival of lights, going from darkness to the light, then going up to um, Nepal, going up to Tibet, like following the pathway of uh, the yogic traditions from Buddhism. And then uh, in the end, going alone to Bhutan, the happiest nation in the world, which was truly a magnificent journey. Uh, I had my phone on flight mode, meaning nobody could reach me, call me, uh, send me messages. And I'd even informed my wonderful team in Breathology that they should just take care of business, which they do. And uh, that's, that's wonderful. So this 2020 will be a magical year. It will be an incredible year. And if you're a follower of Breathology, uh, if you're a fan, if you are a customer, meaning that you have bought one of the books, maybe you have joined our online platform, uh, maybe you're even in the community now, sharing your knowledge and experience to others, then I want to thank you sincerely because when you're following us and helping us and supporting us, we grow and we grow in the sense that we uh, get more responsibility and we help the world breathe better one breath at a time and particularly you, you know, you. We want to help you. So I have a wonderful team in Breathology. They care, I care, and uh, I think we all need to care more. So not care, like the little puffer fish, don't care about what others say or the distractions or things that you can't change, things around you in the environment, but care about yourself and care about others. We need to take care of mother nature. We need to take care of this beautiful ocean. You know, we can't have all this plastic floating around. We can't have all this, this emission from cars. You know, we, we need to step up and be much more vocal, much more direct in, in our um, communication and what we tolerate and what we don't tolerate, what we accept and what we don't accept. And um, 
Make that a mission of yours in 2020 to stand up for your what you believe in, what you love, what you want to protect. Uh, I just jumped up here. I've been speaking for five minutes now and I actually just wanted to wish you Merry Christmas and thank you for an incredible 2019, which has been tough. I think for many people, the world economy, uh, all the changes in Asia, in America, South America, revolutions being, being uh, suppressed, um, lots of things that are not right, things that are not just, things that are not fair, you know, but we have to champion on, we have to just keep going and believe that we can make this a better place, that we can make a change and a difference in the world. I see another interesting phenomena. All these people now becoming entrepreneurs like myself, meaning that you have your own little business. You have your own little space in the world where you can do better if you want to. Uh, I just left Denmark this summer. I moved out of Denmark, meaning I'm still a citizen of Denmark. I have a Danish passport, but actually I'm a citizen of the world. Uh, I moved to Spain. Now I'm on my way to move to Asia, to Malaysia, to be more specific. And um, I also have, you know, friends and a home in Spain. I have a home in Mexico. I live in different places around the world and I teach breathing. And what I basically do is I teach breathing techniques in the sense that extracting all the benefits from yoga, Zen Buddhism, Qi, Qi Gong, all these timeless um, wisdom um, philosophies. Then I combine it with peak performance, meaning all the world records I've done, and I've done about 10 or 12 worlds and Guinness World Records in breath hold diving, meaning you hold your breath, focus, and you finish the job, right? And finally, combining with the modern cutting edge science, you know, uh, medical science. I was just in Canada with a good friend who has developed these goggles with smart display and now even with heart rate monitor swimming, and it goes down to 10 meters, meaning 30 feet. Via, uh, via Bluetooth. I think it's incredible. Actually, there, there's some famous DJs, too many left hands sitting down here having lunch. <laughs> and they said they made me, uh, they, they made me, they made them feel bad that they'd just been having lunch and I was swimming and training a bit down here, but that, that's kind of funny. But anyways, they're testing the goggle line, trying on land and just testing their pulse and breathing with the nose, exhaling with the mouth and seeing the heart rate drop, you know, live on the inside smart display of the, the goggles. And an old swim buddy of mine, Dan Eisenhardt, developed this. And it just goes to show that there are so many incredible things we can do with variable technology, with our smartphones, with our connections, with satellites, with our GPS, with, you know, a deeper understanding on what's going on inside our body, in our mind, in our bloodstream, in our hearts, you know, where is it? There should be a heart here somewhere. Uh, you know, and we live in amazing times. Everything is at the touch of a finger. I, I would call it the Midas touch, you know. You know, King Midas maybe from the Greek mythology, uh, that everything he touched turned to gold. So I wish you a golden touch for 2020. Uh, we're moving into a new decade. And uh, I have also a lot of things I want to do. I am seeing this explosion in breathology. I'm seeing this explosion. I think I, I came away, I, I got distracted from that before I saw this thing on Instagram and this girl I spoke with this morning talking about that we're getting, you know, defocused and, and not communicating and socializing and it's true. And I saw this post on Instagram talking about breath work, about vegan area, vegan January or vegan January, meaning vegan January or something like starting the new decade with uh, being vegan. So eating less meat, having less impact on animals, uh, reducing CO2 emission. And all this we have an impact on. We can affect that and positively affect this in our everyday life. And I hope that you pick up the baton and, and, and also go in front as a leader, from in front of your kids, as a school teacher, uh, maybe as a child, showing your parents, you know, it's also that way around. Um, and, and that we show that we care. And with this ability to create your own company, your own mission, your own dreams, you know, we have this incredible freedom and this touch of Midas to turn everything we see and touch into gold. Uh, as I mentioned, I've left Denmark. I'm now a global citizen of the planet Earth that I love. Uh, our home, our common home, regardless of cultures and nations and religions and backgrounds. And, and it's, it's truly remarkable that we can just connect in a second, right? Uh, I also see a struggle that I have uh, and uh, uh, unwillingness in society to accept that there are people like me, kind of digital nomads, floating around. Banks don't understand that and they give you a lot of hassle. If you want to have an account, you have to explain where you live and why you live there and what you do. And the, the, the old kind of society, the old philosophy, the square, you know, conservative mindset doesn't apply anymore in this modern day and age. I don't think so. It doesn't. And we're too agile. We're too f f quick, you know. 
I'm not counting myself in the younger generation, I wish, but I still connect and help the younger generation and I hope to be a, 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 a guiding example or a lighthouse for the younger generation of things you can do. You can dream from becoming, uh, you know, being a child with asthma, five years old, having this struggle, hardly couldn't get air into my lungs, remembering this pain, you know, turning into a multiple world ch uh, champion freediver, four times freediving world champion and 10 or 12 Guinness world records. And just for the uh, for the record as well, uh, Breathology is a platform where you can learn breathing techniques. You can learn breath holding. We have the Danish Navy SEALs in there. I train gold winning Olympian athletes if you've been watching this video so far. We train people in nursing homes, uh, rehabilitation centers, people with COPD, people with stress, people with depression, anxiety, fear. And I also teach people to hold their breath longer. And many people confuse this and and think it's it's something you, we have copied from someone or we're stealing things. There are many ways to breathe, right? There are many ways of swimming. There are many ways to roam, as as one say and one can say. And and there are different methods out there. One is uh, Patrick McEwen. I've never met him, but the breathing advantage or oxygen advantage. There is uh, holotropic breath work from outstanding people in California. I've been to their workshops. It's more about hyperventilation and, and, and a mind shift. So uh, altering the mind to have a new reality and experience a rebirthing process where you kind of get born again, release traumas. There's the Wim Hof method. We have lots of our instructors now in breathology that have trained to become instructors in Wim Hof. And I think that's great. I've never met the guy, he loves eyes, but I just get, I get kind of frustrated slash sad on the behalf of so many people that are uninformed, so many people that are obviously, I wouldn't say unintelligent, that it appears like that, but they are very, very uneducated. And in this day and age, with the internet at your fingertip, with this golden touch, there is no excuse to be ignorant. There's no excuse to, you know, expose yourself as being, frankly speaking, stupid. You know, when people say, oh, you copy Wim Hof. Oh, it's the Wim Hof ripoff a method. Uh, no, inform yourself. My name is Dick Severinsen. I'm the only person on this planet of about 8 billion people with the name Stick Severinsen. It's very easy to Google. And um, then you will know not who I am, but what I've done, right? You will see my accolades. You will see it in Wikipedia. So you will see in YouTube the videos. And I broke the Wim Hof world record 10 years ago in 2010. Then I broke it again. I still hold the current Guinness World Record. So it's just to let you know, I'm not cupping anyone. I'm myself. Um, and I've just extracted what I have learned in my life was the best from yoga, from my initiation in yoga, from Hare Krishna, from Rishikesh, from the masters of India that I've had that have taught me, my private masters, and I appreciate them and I salute them. Um, I've been initiated with my secret mantra. I understand the background, understand the history, the philosophy. I've just been back to India, as I mentioned. Actually, back near Rishikesh in, in New Delhi, traveling into Tibet, traveling into, into uh, Nepal, the, 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 the monastery in Tibet, uh, Potala Palace, where the Dalai Lama lived his first 25 years before he was abandoned and oh, he was uh, put in exile. And um, we saw his library, his room where he was teaching, his meeting room, you know. So I've been to the core of yoga, of Buddhism. I even went to Bhutan and I've seen the pre-Buddhist temples. I've been also in those temples in, in uh, Nepal. So I really try to do everything I can to understand the history, to understand the essence and bring that to you in a modern perspective because I understand the world. I live a hectic life. As I mentioned in the beginning of this speech, I don't always take care of myself. I stretch too much. I don't take my own medicine, you know? So I often make this bad joke of do as I say, but don't do as I do, you know? It's kind of not so nice when you don't really follow the path that you know you should for your own health and benefits. That's why I appreciate my friends, my family, my loved ones um, around me that tell me to slow down sometimes, to take a breath, haha, <laughs> and to enjoy life and, and not take things so seriously. But I'm very meticulous. I have a strong eye for the detail and I get very frustrated and upset uh, when, when things don't go not as I hoped or planned, because then of course we all get frustrated, but as expected. When you explain things to people, you communicate clearly to people. I'm sure you can relate to this, right? You tell people to do something or you ask them to do something. Maybe you even show them to do something. Maybe you even do it for them and then you see them do it. And then again, they don't do it. That brings frustration in your heart, in your mind. And there are different ways of learning to deal with that, either breathing slowly or closing your eyes and swimming under the sea like a puffer fish or 
just changing your mindset, you know, and that's also everyday challenge for me. I need to learn. I need to grow. We all need to become better people, better human beings. But I've spent a lot of time extracting the best from yoga, from breathing, from meditation, from mindfulness. I have become a friend of Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, the founder of Flow, one of the psychologists who's he's a professor in psychology and he's one of the founders of the modern branch of positive psychology. How do we use the resources in our mind? How do we use this incredible body visualizing, using our senses to block inputs from the world and to focus on the internal messages yeah, like positive reinforcement. How can we tell ourselves that we can do something and that we can control our lives? We can breathe slowly, get more oxygen into our system, thus more energy, thus lower the heart rate. And then having that positive benefit of telling the brain that we're in control. We have a beautiful life. We're happy. And then have serotonin and dopamine and all these beautiful happy hormones produced in abundance in our brain. Use this in a pharmacy. That's what I want to teach you. And that's what breathology is all about. A framework that is simple, super efficient and based on science, peak performance and timeless wisdom. So I hope that gives you a little insight. If you have never seen me before, if you don't know who I am again, I'm Stig Severinsen, the founder of Breathology, a global platform that helps people to breathe better, optimize their energy, become less ill, recover faster from illness, battle uh, uh, depression or stress or anxiety or fear or panic attacks, giving you tools that are simple and super sharp, efficient, because they're tested. We measure on the pulse, we measure on the heart rate, we measure on the blood pressure. Come with me over here and I'll end this uh, long talk. That should have been two minutes saying Merry Christmas. Now I got all on a rant here, but that's just me, you know, because I care. I don't know if it comes across as something else. I would love for you to put a comment, whether this goes on Facebook or, or Vimeo or uh, uh, not Instagram because it's too long, but maybe some uh, excerpts, but, but whether it goes on, on, on uh, Facebook or YouTube or whatever, put your comments below, put your greatest struggles for 2019 and put your dreams for 2020. How do you want to change your life to the better? How do you want to inspire other people? Which people have inspired you this year or in your life and why? Um, and how can you make 2020 an absolutely incredible journey for yourself and your family and your loved ones, your friends? Uh, what actions do you need to take? Uh, write them down. How can you, you know, make a commitment plan? How can you make an accountability group? And by the way, if you're watching this so far, 17 minutes in, and you are interested in knowing more about Breathology, just go to our website, breathology.com, and you can find all the information there. It's, there's lots of free teaching, lots of articles uh, in our information center, in our learning hub. Uh, there are lots of free courses you can take on safety, water safety, rescue, um, how to breathe and do breathing meditation to calm your mind, how to get yourself out of stress or at least navigate in this hectic uh, life we live and uh, in this busy world. And then you can join some of our programs. We just opened, I don't know if it's still going to be open when you see this, but an incredible breathology um, a bundle where you get access like the Netflix of breathing to all our products ever made. And you even get access to our incredible community where you can share your experiences. You can get guidance from me, from our incredible instructors. And by the way, we have now been running instructor courses for over a year and we have the most beautiful, wonderful, smart, caring people in the world that have taken the certification and become instructors. So if you're looking for someone to help you, to guide you, just go to our website and look for instructors. There's a whole index with about a hundred beautiful, smart, smiling people that are willing to help you. That's their passion and their mission in life to help other people live a better life. So find those people, whether it's in Australia or Finland or South America or in Germany or whatever place you live, go and find these people and they can help you. And if you're interested in becoming an instructor, then you can sign up, join our two months online training and then come and meet me. The next time we'll be in San Diego in March. We have another event in Italy. We have another one planned around the Olympics in Japan or Australia. So in that part of the world. And even more so, if you have a big group in your company or maybe you own a platform as well and you want to train those as becoming certified pathology instructors, I'm collaborating now with another hospital in Singapore and they want me to train their staff, their doctors, their nurses. So if you're in the similar situation and you have a whole group of people that are dedicated and serious, we can bring instructors and master instructors. That's the highest level we have trained now to come to you and teach you and I can come and help as well. But the master instructors can set it all up with you. You can do all the logistics and I can come or some of our master instructors can come, come and help you finish the training. Then you have a certification and you can bring that into your uh, corporation or into your branch of, of work, whether you're a dentist, doctor, physiotherapist, chiropractor, work with children, work in a nursing facility, work in a senior citizen home, 
um, in an orphanage, wh whatever your passion is, where you work, we can help you and you can have it as an add-on, right? So that's something that's very new. So I can't wait to make 2020 the most incredible year of your life, of my life. Uh, I can't wait to support you even more. Uh, I can't wait to hear from you. And uh, if you don't know, I've been speaking for 20 minutes now. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me this time of your precious life. I've been speaking now for 20 minutes, 10. This was the first world record I said that really rocketed me into uh, fame, uh, in, in fame of hall, so to speak, in the freediving world. I was the first to pass this magical glass ceiling of holding my breath underwater over 20 minutes. 20 minutes, 10, April 1st, to make kind of a joke and fun and unbelievable in 2010 in a shark tank. Then I moved that to 21 minutes on Stanley's Superhumans. Rest in peace, Stanley, this beautiful, um, handsome man who was behind the Marvels and Superman, Batman, all the heroes, the superheroes, right? That your children are following and watching and that were your heroes in your childhood. Uh, then I moved it to 22 minutes on my own, on, on Discovery Channel and I was uh, named or dubbed the ultimate superhuman. I was crowned that when I held my breath for 22 minutes. Why am I telling you this? For two reasons. First of all, believe in your dreams. Believe that you can do unimaginable things that people tell you can't do, that doctors tell you can't do. By the way, you can increase your lung volume. You can become more flexible. You can increase what's called VLC, vital lung capacity. If you have asthma, COPD, so smoke whose lungs are obstruction in your airways, you can increase that. You can become more flexible. You can breathe in smarter ways. If you're an athlete and want to improve your performance, you can do that. If you're ill, if you're sick, you can become more healthy in better ways than the doctors are telling you. Pick up the breathology book on the website or in the bookshop and it will teach you exactly how to do that. And if you get curious, if you want to continue, go to the website breathology.com and join any class you want. It's right there at your fingertips, the Midas Touch video training, me in person training you, and you can join our beautiful community where I also do live sessions and other instructors help you every month. If, that, if that's something for you, I'll leave you with that. It's 22 minutes coming up now, meaning the second reason I've been able to hold my breath all this time, believe it or not. So keep dreaming, keep smiling, and keep loving. Cheers.